Hey guys, it's Mary Ellen. I am back with another big plan with me and this is in my big happy planner, which is the daily details planner. This is last week's spread. I love how it turned out. I think it's really pretty and I uh, love the flowers and the colors and everything. So this week I am planning for April 22nd to the 28th. And instead of using these pages, I'm going to do a little bit of Franken planning again. You guys know I do this a lot. And I'm going to be using this planner here. So I'm just going to pull out the pages in, of the same dates in this planner because this planner is very, very neutral. And it is my preference to have a neutral planner, even though this one's super cute. So I am going to take this and lay these down and we will begin. So what I thought I would do this week, and as you guys know, I don't really have too much, I don't do really any pre-planning, not much pre-planning before I sit down to film a video because I want you guys to see my process. Um, but I did decide I'm gonna do a black and white theme and also bring in some of these um, fun like balloons in different words. And I thought, so last week I used this tiny sticker book that I had made with all these tiny sticker pads. And I saw a lot that I have a lot of black and white stickers in here. So I think I'm gonna use these. Um, maybe some black, white, and gold. I don't know, but I thought it would be fun to use this again because I like these stickers and because it made sense with this layout. So, like I said, I don't have too much planned, but I think I will just start and figure it out as I go along. So I'm going to look at my phone to see what, um, to see what I have going on this week. And I have, let's see, not a whole lot this week. It's actually pretty light, which is good because I have a lot to get done, especially with YouTube stuff because I'm going to go wild the following week and I just want to prepare for that and everything. So um, Friday, I do have my daughter's fashion show. I know that I said I had that a few weeks ago and I messed up and it wasn't on that day, but it is Friday. And then on Saturday, I'm supposed to go up to my daughter's college. I don't know if I'm doing that this Saturday or if I'm going to wait for a couple weeks. But um, yeah, so then I have like Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. I have the gym as usual, probably Monday and Wednesday as well. And then Wednesday and Friday, I have work. So I'm going to put a box on each day just because it'll give me a little bit of room to write in in case I get plans and like throughout the week. So I guess what I will do is use some of these and also use some black boxes. And I don't know if I have a lot of them available. Um, I might have to um, kind of get creative with that, but let's, let's see. So let me just flip through this a little bit. I will need one for gratitude and I, I'm looking at this one right here and I could use some balloon letters I have balloon letters in another book for gratitude but first let's just put this down and we'll put it here it seems to be like my go-to lately where to put it I could use like I could use love maybe I'll do that so I am gonna place this down here to start and let's see what it would look like if I put love above that. I think that makes sense for gratitude, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm also gonna take one of these guys and put it on the weekend. And I'll just kinda place it up here. Okay. And then I'm going to start putting some of these down, but I want to make sure I get those boxes in before I start decorating around them. Let me see if I can use any of these as like boxes. Let's see if I have any black ones in here. I have some gold, I think. Yeah, I've got some gold. So I could use a couple of these too. 
So I could do some black and gold throughout here. So let me get my colorful boxes book. I know the new colorful boxes does not have any black, so I'm gonna go into the older colorful boxes and hopefully I'll have a little bit of black that I can use and I'll also pull in some gold as well because I know I have enough gold in here. See, I've got tons of the gold ones. So I'll be using some of those. I do have this black one. I have one of these guys. I can use the the what's left over, like the remnants of them, but don't know if I wanna do that. I have three books here to go through. <laughs> so, uh, some skinny ones, but that doesn't really help. Maybe I will use some of those, I don't know. A lot of these are cut up already. I have one of these, so I have two of those in general. All right, let's see what we can do. So I'm gonna grab this. I'll put this on one of the weekend days because I definitely have stuff going on for the weekend. So I'm gonna put this one right here. Okay, now I'm gonna grab one of these gold ones from this tiny sticker pack. And that is in the, the colorful boxes sticker pack, the tiny sticker pack, pad, tiny sticker pad. I guess that's what it is. And then I'm going to, to balance out the big one like this, I'm going to put this over probably Tuesday. Let me put this on Tuesday. I'll just place it over both those there. Okay. Now I'm going to bring in a couple of the black boxes and I'll layer on top of that for like a Wednesday thing there. And then I have another one of those. I'll put this guy up here. Should I put that on Monday? I'll put this up here on Monday. All right. Now I'm going to grab some gold boxes, see if I can fill the rest up with gold boxes maybe. Because I'm going to have enough black from the other stickers pulled in, so I can use more gold boxes than black ones. Um, put this like this. I like to overlap the lines because I feel like it's more attractive that way, at least to me. Some of the times I keep them centered, but other times I just like to make it kind of go over the lines just for like, I don't know, for some reason I just like it. Okay, I'll put this one on Saturday for Saturday plans. And then I'm gonna grab another small one for Wednesday. Um, do I want that size? I have my choice in sizes here because the gold ones, um, you know what, I'm gonna wait because I might want to overlap some other black stickers. So let's look at this. All right, so, whoops. Looking at the black and gold, but also just the black as well. How about she sees possibility everywhere? These are hard to get off my page the way I've done this, but here we go. She sees possibility everywhere. Should I put that there and then overlap with a gold, I guess? Let me grab another gold one. I'll put this right across here. Slightly crooked, crooked enough to bother me. So I'm gonna go ahead and 
pull it up and start again. It's not that crooked, but you know me. If you've been watching my videos, you'll know I'm pretty much a perfectionist when it comes to sticker placement anyway. All right, and I know this one's a little bit crooked, but I'll live with that. Okay, so let us continue. Um, let's check out more of these balloons because I do want to put some more balloons over here to like balance it out. So how about hello? I don't know why. And we're going to put it right between that, that one and that one. Okay, it's looking good. I feel like I need a black sticker down here. How about this one? You go, girl. I'm just going to center this one right there. Okay. Uh, let's see. I wonder if I'll come in. I might come in with my um, stencil and do those checklists that I do with the stencil. Uh, I think I might. So I could put to-do list here, one here. I don't need them on every day. I've been putting them on every day a lot of the time and then I end up not always liking that I'm putting them on every day because it's, sometimes I don't have enough because then I like carry some over. Anyway, let's see what else. I like this hooray because it has the gold polka dots. So that makes sense with this layout, you know. I think I'm going to put it right over that box. Okay. Looking cute so far. Um, I'm going to want probably a box on Sunday. So... What I really want is a black box on Sunday, but I might have to settle for gold and then like layer it with black. Or maybe, maybe I could put this and then put like a gold, a gold box right on top of it. I don't know how I feel about that, but let's try it out. Um, See. Is this the same size? It's probably the same exact size, isn't it? Yeah. That won't work. How about one of these? Oh, I'm out of those on that one. So let's look at the other book. Got more, you guys. I got more. Okay. Um, how about this? I've never, I don't really do this like ever, but I think that's kind of different. I don't really like the placement of that the way I just did that. That is crooked, so I'm going to pull it back up. Hopefully it won't pull up any of that sticker. Ugh. Okay, I'll try to line it up with the dots here. That's better. Okay, so I think I have enough boxes now, and I might be done with the black stickers as well. So what I'm going to do before I decorate anymore is I'll go in here with a couple of checklists, and then I'll see, I'll kind of reassess the situation and see if I need anything else. I like how that looks. I feel like I go through phases with this, like sometimes I'll use it every week, and then I won't use it for like a month. Um, but I really like this stencil. Um, these are, this is in the description box below if you have any interest in checking that out. Um, yeah, I it comes in a pack of two and I really love this. So I think I just like the way it makes the spread look. It looks like really linear and kind of neat and clean for some reason, I just like it. Okay, so let's see what else we need. I might like leave I might just leave it like this and keep like 
extra white space for writing or for whatever I need. Oh, oh, I know what I wanted to do. Um, so Friday is National Pretzel Day. And sometimes I like finding like these really like weird little national holidays. And I thought maybe I would like doodle a pretzel. <laughs> so, but I might, you know what, I might wait to do that. Um, no, I'll, you know what, I'll go ahead and do it for you guys. So hopefully I can do this under the camera without my head showing. <laughs> we'll see. So I had a hard time making the pretzel twist in the middle, so I'm just going to leave it like that. And I'm going to go ahead and use my Paper Mate Flare to color in the lines. Okay, that looks a little bit bad right here and right here because like I said, if I don't have my head close to the paper, it's hard for me because I'm reaching out under the camera to like draw and it's not, it never works well for me. So what I'm gonna do is let this dry and then I will um, go in with like a white gel pen and like one of these guys and then just like fix those areas. And then I'll color it in with um, like colored pencils probably. I don't know, maybe. Maybe I won't color it in, maybe I'll just draw salt or something. But anyway, I wanted you guys to see me draw and that was kind of a massive fail, but hey, you know what, it is what it is. So the only thing left is like the sidebar and I wonder if I'm just gonna leave it. Sometimes I just leave it, you know? But also maybe there's like a small balloon thing I can put over there. So I think, let me see if this will fit. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is cover up this don't forget and then put that there. Because I think it'll look cute and just give it some kind of de decoration in the sidebar. You don't have to have a lot in your sidebar, but I like to decorate it at least a little bit. Okay, I'm just gonna put that down right like that. And um, what else? I think I'm gonna leave it as it is. I think that's enough for me and I don't want to overpower it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed already. And if you are not one of those people that click the notification bell, please do so because then when I put out a new video, you'll get notified and you can watch it whenever you want. So. Have a great day and I will talk to you all soon. See ya.